Good morning, roller coaster fans. And all our friends in the news media as well, which and I know a lot of you are coaster fans. And actually, everybody is a coaster fan today, right? It's a beautiful day on the shores of Lake Erie at the world's best amusement park. My name is John Hildebrandt, I'm Vice President and General Manager of Cedar Point. And yes, according to many letters I've received over the years from 10-year-old boys, and many others, I really do have the very best job in the world. Yeah. Yeah. On behalf of all of my colleagues at Cedar Point and Cedar Fair, welcome to Gatekeeper Media Day. 2013 will be my 40th season at Cedar Point, so I have been here for a lot of coming out parties. Great coasters like Corkscrew in 76, Gemini in 78, Iron Dragon 87, Magnum in 1989, Raptor in 1994, Mantis in 96, Millennium Force, Top Thrill Dragster 2003, Maverick in 2007. It's a great list and one we're very, very proud of at Cedar Point. But I believe the excitement surrounding Gatekeeper exceeds any of these roller coasters. This one is very special. And you'll soon find out for yourselves if you haven't already. Who's already ridden? Yeah. You guys are way ahead of me. Aww. Coasters are what we are all about at Cedar Point. We're very proud of our lineup. Proud of the fact that we were the first park to build coasters that exceeded, have exceeded the 200, 300, and 400 foot limit. Coasters are in our DNA. They are our passion. It's what we do here. I also think we're pretty good at redoing entrance gates. What do you think? Yeah. We are especially happy to have so many coaster fans here today. We really are. And so many uh, amusement park groups, including, and I'm going to read the honor roll here, the American Coaster Enthusiasts, yeah. Club Theme Park Review, yeah. Coaster Buzz Club, yeah. Coaster Crew, Coaster Fusion Club, yeah. Coaster Zombies, <laughs> let's hear it, where are the Coaster Zombies? Alright, Dark Ride and Funhouse Enthusiasts, alright, European Coaster Club, <laughs> we welcome you sir, the Florida Coaster Club, <laughs> Welcome you too. The Great Ohio Coaster Club. Let's hear it for the Buckeye State. Mid Atlantic Coaster Club. Come on, you're out there. Brian said you were. Okay. The National Amusement Park Historical Association. Yeah. All right. Roller Coaster Club of Great Britain. Come on, somebody own up out there. <laughs> You'll be a Brit for a day, right? <laughs> All right. And the Western New York Coaster Club. All right, you guys are here. Welcome. You know, many coasters have great stats. Gatekeeper certainly has great stats. But do coasters don't come alive until you hear a few screams, right? And you are the folks that supply the soul for a great roller coaster. So we thank you for being here to do that with us today. I've ridden Gatekeeper, like I guess about all of you. It's an incredible experience, very fast. You really are flying. And it does feel weird, I think, to, to look down and, and not see a track there. It's over there to your left or your right, depending on where you're sitting. There's great air time, keyholes are amazing, transitions are smooth. It's a great ride, right? Yeah. Next, I'd like to introduce the man who worked with our manufacturer, B&M and so many other talented people and talented teams to bring Gatekeeper to life at Cedar Point. Please welcome Rob Decker, Cedar Fair's Corporate Vice President for Planning and Design. Rob? Thank you, John. Wow, we're here, we're really here 
Winter's over, the ride is ready, and you're all riding Gatekeeper. Yeah. This is the greatest day. You know, Gatekeeper, statistically speaking, it's, it's a world record breaker. It's the longest wing coaster in the world. It's the fastest at 67 miles an hour. It has the tallest drop. And the neat element of it, for me, is when you get to the top, the first thing you do is an inversion. You're upside down. It's 170 feet to the ground, and that is the tallest on the planet. So with no track above you, no track below you, you're out on the wing, what do you do at that point? Scream. Scream. <laughs> you develop a roller coaster that works to all of those dynamics, and you play to the innate fear of that low beam on Gemini, right? <laughs> That's what we were thinking about when we brought in the keyholes and all of the elements. We wanted to make it a sensational coaster, so everyone here is going to love it. So, with that, I don't think we need to judge uh, Gatekeeper by just his statistics. I think you're going to find that it's, uh, it's also transformative. Uh, things we're doing with planning now in the park are, look behind you, opening up the views to the lake. What a beautiful place Cedar Point is. It's the world's best amusement park. It has a mile-long stretch of beach with resort hotels right on the lake, a beautiful marina, 770 slips, and what's sandwiched in between that is the world's largest collection of rides at 72 and 16 terrific roller coasters. Yeah. Yeah. So, Gatekeeper starts at the beach, brings his tail all the way out to the front of the park, where it does a flyover, a maneuver at the front gate, where people were screaming as people were entering. And it's just that moment that I really wanted to get everyone really excited about being here at Cedar Point. And I think that's going to deliver for us. So it's the integration of all of that excitement that communicates, I think, what a great ride it is. Uh, the experience is just exhilarating. I like it because I think everyone can ride it. I just don't think it's, it's so extreme that it's going to be intimidating, but it's going to be a fantastic ride for the families to get on it, families and friends, and connect with all the thrills that we have it here at Cedar Point. So, the process. Wow. It was, uh, it was great. It was really great. We have such a great team here. So, through all the, the visioning and the ideation and sketching and engineering and marketing, and then construction through the winter, you know, eight long months of construction and the testing and the training. You know, at one point I just had to stop because everyone's going a zillion miles an hour and I just looked around and everyone within earshot, I said, think about what you're doing right now and think about the role that you're playing. I mean, we are the team that will forever change the front of the park of Cedar Point and its rich history, the world's greatest amusement park. And it was just such a great feeling to be part of that team. So I would like to talk about them now. Um, from our executive team, led by Matt Wiemet. Uh, gosh, you know, talk about getting some excitement in here. Uh, he appointed Phil Bender to, uh, to lead the team. And everything went through Phil. He did a fantastic job. To John Hildebrandt, a truly dedicated staff here at Cedar Point. Let's give it up for them. Yeah. We had a consultant team that was uh, mostly Ohio-based. Just the leading professionals in Ohio helped us put this roller coaster together, and we're so proud of our association with them. And the construction crews who battled the weather all winter long, all Ohio. Let's give it up for them as well. They did a fantastic job. So I would like to recognize the team closest to me and that works within my division is Scott Graybill, and he worked tirelessly on this every day. He worked with everyone at the park and got everything together for the ride and just did a spectacular job with that. Here it is, Scott. And Augie Lococo. Augie led the construction team through a lot of, lot of problems. I never heard of those problems because he had it under control, which was great, without hiccups, without fear, and without me breathing down his neck, when's it going to open, when's it going to open? I knew it would be there on opening day, and here we are. So let's give it up for Augie.
And finally, we are so proud of our association with Bullinger and Mabillard. They built the Raptor, they built the Manus, and now we have Gatekeeper. This ride came about with our association with them, and we went to them and said, what are you working on? What's next? What's out there? And Walter Bollinger said to me, he said, when I'm in a plane and I'm in the cabin and I'm traveling, I look out on the wing and I just wonder what it would be like to be out on the wing. I said, Walter, you're going to have to come up with a whole new restraint for that. <laughs> so he said, we have this wing coaster. It's in Italy. It's, it did a wonderful job. It's being tested. It's a prototype. And from that moment on, I knew we could get it. I knew we could get it at the front gate and we could make something truly spectacular. Based in Switzerland, industry experts known throughout the world for leading design and engineering, they've designed and built nearly 90 roller coasters. 16 of those are with us at Cedar Fair. So we're really proud of our association with b and Engineering comes from Switzerland, but their fabrication is right here in Ohio, in Claremont County Steel Fabricators. And we have uh, both representatives of uh, B&M uh, Switzerland, and then also Ohio here with us today. So now I would like to introduce them. And first of all, here is Kim Gent of B&M. Thank you very much. To work with Cedar Point is always a great pleasure. BNM had the opportunity to design Gatekeeper and to make it a new image for the park and a different experience. Cedar Point came with the idea to build the ride along the beach and above the main entrance of the park. This is unique, it's fantastic. The aesthetic is important. Gatekeeper is unique for its length, its speed. The passengers are sitting on the wing, which is unusual. It's new for the park. There's nothing above, nothing below you. It's just amazing. You feel like flying like a bird. Our design, as I said, Rob Decker, it's all designed in Switzerland by a team of mechanical and structural engineers. It took uh, a year to design, to do all the drawings, calculations, inch by inch, to make it a safe, fun ride. However, fabrication of columns and tracks was built in southern Ohio by Clement Steel Fabricators with the supervision of Bob Mempi, here present. proud of being here. I'm very proud to present BNM and I hope you enjoy Gatekeeper always and always. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Let's give it up again for BNM. Next, it's uh, my pleasure to introduce the man who made all this possible. Matt, we met Cedar Fair's president and chief executive officer. This is Matt's first big roller coaster, and we like it that it's at Cedar Point. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Was it appropriate that Raptor was interrupting his speech? <laughs> I've got a few notes here today, and normally I don't use too many notes, as some of you know, and I wanted to make sure I got this right. So first of all, um, it is there are way too many people to thank uh, and appreciate for, for what has been accomplished here at Cedar Point over the last year as it relates to Gatekeeper. Um, but I do think I have to give special credit to John Hildebrand, who leads this property, Phil Bender, who is John's partner in it, and then particularly Rob Decker and his team, because um, every time... Uh, we didn't just ask for something, we asked for something special. Um, and then we sent them away, and I think they've done an extraordinary job. So can we just give them another round of applause? Yeah. And 
And just to tease you a little bit, because I'm not supposed to do that, uh, we've given Rob another challenge. And more to follow. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. The, uh, and, as, and as good as Rob, as Rob and his team are at uh, the work you see in front of you and over at the front gate, uh, I wouldn't uh, trust Rob with your checkbook. Um, <laughs> right? So I had the pleasure, and I really am sincerely proud of the amount of work that we did in Ohio. Right, and, and I had the pleasure of going down to Batavia. Yeah, right? And I had the pleasure of going down to Batavia to Claremont Steel, uh, and some of you may have seen it. There's some YouTube clips about it. And I had the opportunity to walk in the middle of the keyhole. It's on the ground, I walk in the middle of the keyhole, and the only thing I could say was, wow, right? <laughs> Jeff will remember that. Uh, and then uh, several months later, uh, the keyholes were coming over the causeway here, and I went out to the front gate, and, and all I could say was, wow. Um, and then last week, I had my first ride on Gatekeeper. And I got to the keyholes, and I can't tell you what I said. <laughs> yeah, you probably said it, too. Uh, so, as proud as I am uh, of Gatekeeper, uh, I am equally proud of all of our parks across the country. But today is special, right? Today is about Cedar Point, uh, the number one amusement park in the world for 15 straight years. I think the 16th year is up to you. Oh yeah. Right? But John has assured me, and I've assured my board, um, I like you guys, I'd like to be back here, um, that this will be the 16th straight year. Right? So, uh, I also want to remind you, there's a lot of people here today that I think we could characterize their jobs as the best jobs in the world. But the best jobs are being a dad, being a mom, being a niece, nephew, uncle, aunt, grandparent. Uh, and when all the life seems way too busy, uh, remember that uh, having fun is part of what makes America great. And we'd just like to be a little part of that for this summer. So thank you very much. One more time for Matt. So I think it's just about time to get back to riding. But as, but as usual, a couple of housekeeping details. Just a reminder, Gatekeeper will be in operation until 1 p.m. And it will re, it'll take a little nap. And uh, we'll reopen at 3.30 p.m. And, and be open until 7.30 p.m. this evening. Lunch for all our guests is available at three different locations. Midway Market, Coasters, and Hot Potato. I know you know where they all are. We're, we're looking forward to serving you. If you need assistance for anything, our staff members will likely be wearing gatekeeper polos or will certainly have name tags. Please ask anyone you meet. If you have a question, you need assistance for anything, we're here to help you and make your day great. Now for a special surprise. To say thank you to all the Coaster fans who turned out today, we're going to open Raptor. <laughs> And we're going to open Millennium Force. 3.30 p.m. until 6 p.m. this evening. So enjoy your day. Thanks for coming and let's ride.